Okay, thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you very much for joining today in our Acumatica webinar about improve, improving compliance and margins in your uh, project centric business. And um, I want to make the introduction very short today. So I will just hand over to Natanai from our professional services team here in Asia, who is based in Thailand. And um, Natanai, please go ahead. Thank you so much, Thorsten. So hope you can hear me well. Uh, hi, hi everyone again. So uh, welcome to, to the session today. So let's uh, get into our uh, agenda for today, what we would like uh, to show you here. So we wanted to do some demoing for, for the system and, and showing you how it looks like to manage the business with, with our product, right? So these are the business flow, right? So uh, let me uh, trying to give you a head up information a little bit. Let's, uh, let's assuming that you are run your business, call it uh, Epic Now Construction, right? Uh, basically, that your job is supposed, uh, supposing to do office renovate project to your customer with our Comedica. This will showing you uh, how we're enhancing your work and how it enhancing your business workflow and how it will benefit you, all right? So let's have a look at uh, what we're going to show for you today. The first one I'm going to go on through is uh, supposingly that you are running the project for the office renovation for the customer. This is your target now. And the next target for you is you would like to tracking the cost and revenue, right? The second, the third one to come follow from that is when you, the project is going on, you send the engineers or your resources to work on the, on the site for particular tasks or ad, ad hoc tasks or whatever. And also the next on that is the engineer is confirmed that might be the material is gonna need on, on site. So how are we gonna do that in the system? And once the project, uh, next to that is once the project is complete, uh, for, for example, like a milestone building, right? So he would, uh, it's a time to build to your customer that, that he will uh, pay that portion of the project has been completed. Uh, move next to that is also, you're gonna have a chance to review and seize the project. Uh, report and also together with that is the on the compliance side how you manage the document how how the system is helping you to manage those uh, insurance manage those document that lead to the project and so on and also we will provide uh, also the short overview of the smart sheet integration with the project uh, when it's come to with Akamatika uh, construction product here uh, which helping you to have the uh, the the way that you can see is the, the project in, in the graphical or in, in the way that easily to understand how the project progression and so on. So, all right, let me uh, bring up the system now. So let me, let me uh, ask you if you can see my screen on uh, this one. Yes, we see your Acromatica screen now. All right, so that's awesome. Let me bring up this one. So the first scenario here, where your customer is ordered for the project renovation. Sorry, that I need to go back to the, the dashboard a little bit. As, as usual, I start all my day is on my dashboard, right? Because I can track and review which projects has profit, which project has not. So this all information I can define on my own what the information that I wanted to see, right? It's, it's basically the purposes of dashboard. So let's get back to uh, the, uh, the, the highlight and the workflow today. So the starting point of the project is basically when you got the drawing or the design document, right? So you agree with the customer that, okay, uh, these are the first design and it needs to be uploaded to the system, right? And also uploading is not enough. It needs to be approved from your, uh, your developers or uh, your, your engineers that who doing the architecture design, right? So these are the screen that cater, these are the area that cater those activities. What does it help you here is basically the drawing lock we are allowing you to tracking. Let me go back to the list a little bit there. 
the drawing log is basically help you tracking those document, those drawing, whether it's going to be approved or not, what are the revision out there, who is responsible for it and whatnot. So let's get into one of them and have a look short a little bit what the details that had been inside. Right? Yes, of course, you can manage uh, revisions, you can manage the, uh, the edition and all that here. The most important thing is the approval, right? So you would want to know when is what approval, what are the status, who are the owner of this one. So this is where you get from, from the system. Rather than just email back and forward and asking about um, well, which document are the list as one or, or which one are on the list as one that. But when you have the system, so everybody can see the same information here. Everybody can see immediately when it's execution, when who are the owner and, and what is the next status need to be done. All right. So after that, if this one has been approved, well, uh, from the drawing perspective, can be extract, right? Can be done the job and made it become the bomb or the bill of material list, the material list that required to do the job. So I have predefined this one based on what the draw what are in the drawing, right? So I I basically did, did not need to add this one one by one. So it just have the Excel file, like a template, and then I just upload back to the system. That's how I can do. And it's relatively easy, right? Because you can work in the Excel file and you can just jump right away here and upload this bomb there. And then you can submit the code immediately, right? So make sure you chart how it's look like. So then your customer is seeing already, oh, these are the price, these are the detail, or how, many, how much you chart and all that. They say, yes, uh, let's, let's do the project then. They sign a contract. Yes, they accept this amount and all that. So here on the section, uh, on, let's go back to this uh, project code a little bit here. You can easily convert this one, become the project without, uh, without doing uh, all the jobs all together again. So the system carry one document to another automatically, simultaneously. All right, so now what, we, what have we done so far? We have done the, the drawing approval, done. The estimator has been done here, right? And the contract has been signed, right? So now, how about the project that's convert and into the real project now? What is the project control look like? What is your command center look like, All right? So. So let's move to one of the projects that I had predefined and pre-created there already. So it's just easy to, to understand and, and so on. The main idea that we have in this screen is a total control of the project. So I will not go one by one here, but just choose one that important. Obviously, you're gonna need to have your cost, right? That you, how much you're willing or how much the budget you're gonna spend in this project. The cost it kept internally, right? Because you want at later the day you would want to know uh, is this task or this particular project is profit or what not or not. So next to that is on the revenue size, which is the projection of uh, when it's time that the project is almost complete in in any uh, portion of the task. So then that one gonna be the expect revenue from your end. At the result from that, at the end of the day, in real time, you're gonna get your balance sheet here as the profit and loss under the project. So means what does it mean by that is you get the actual income expenses and margin in real time. So it means that you don't need to wait until month end closing. You don't need to wait until uh, your, uh, your purchasing department close all the document and then until then you would know what these the expenses. So once you have the system, uh, once you have the right tool, everything is seamlessly from that sense. All right, so um, I actually gonna moving to the engineering part. So let us assuming that if the project is run by and then someone in the project site is call it us or, or call it project managers like me, and then asking, hey, can you send some special guys uh, like the, those uh, electrical engineers to, on, to be uh, on site to see something here, we got something wrong. 
So now I will hand over uh, next to Nabasanan. She will uh, demonstration related to uh, how uh, the engineers would work on the project base, on the construction uh, site. Hello, Nabasanan. I think you need to stop sharing first oh. in Ring Center. Not in Ring. Okay. Yes. So let me stop sharing here. Okay. Thank you, Natanai. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, Napasanan. Share yeah, on my screen. Just a moment, and I have to connect on my mobile. No problem, please take your time. All right, we can see your screen now. Awesome. Can you see my screen? Okay. Yep, it's on your mobile. Okay. So the role. Um, hmm? Yep. Yes, Napasaran, please go ahead. Okay, and uh, this time, uh, Associate Manager is working on the, the calendar board. And uh, what he is uh, going, going to do is now, uh, he is going to uh, assign, uh, assign and schedule the work uh, to be performed. And now I uh, immediately notify on my uh, mobile device. I receive uh, the pull notification about that appointment. Okay, and assign me to perform the maintenance service of the uh, uh, of the air conditioner. And uh, yes, now I log in uh, here on my mobile. And uh, so now I have uh, this information. And um, so there is something that I need to do in my mobile device that uh, will help me a lot more efficient and translate what I am doing uh, out in the field back to my service manager. And so uh, one, I align the customer location. I uh, start uh, my appointment. Okay, and now I start working until uh, my lunch time. And now I need to uh, take a bit to have uh, some lunch. I can, uh, I can uh, pause uh, my appointment for lunch break. Okay, and, uh, and resume is uh, after, uh, I, uh, I, after uh, my lunch. Okay. And now I receive the view and I need to create uh, and uh, explain for, for that land in my mobile. I can uh, use this ability to uh, create uh, the explain receive. Okay. And I can uh, I can uh, make uh, make it being able or not. Okay, if I uh, turn on uh, my winnable, okay, and if I turn off my winnable, uh, that's that's mean uh, this uh, uh, the my land uh, will be like cost as a cost. And I have uh, this link on my uh, Excel receive right here. 
Okay, I uh, enter the description uh, in in the in the description area, and in the unit cost uh, is of one hundred, and uh, the receipt bill are attached to uh, my uh, expense receipt. Okay. And now, if uh, uh, that that work is completed, I will uh, complete uh, my appointment. I can uh, take some photo and I will get uh, a signature from the customer. And they are now uh, attached uh, to my appointment. Okay. And, and, and now the work completed, I can uh, send the report to the customer and uh, and the back and and in the back uh, in the uh, and if the back at the office, the service uh, manager will review the appointment and uh, the next step uh, my appointment will be closed Okay, and now um, you see my total appointment uh, doesn't include uh, this item. Okay, the but it show in the uh, profit ability as as a cost. Okay. okay, in the in show in the cost total is uh, one hundred. Okay, and now I will hand over back to uh, another nine. Thank you so much, Napasana. So let's move back to the project uh, management area again, one more time. So let's uh, let's get to to back to the engineer service team a little bit there, right? Because of the service team that go on site, and uh, I'm not sure if you are seeing my screen now. Is it? Share this one. Uh, you see my screen? Yes, I think screen is coming. So let's get into this area, move back a little bit from, from the engineering side, right? Once they go on site and then they say, yeah, I think we need some materials into this project to, to continue to repair or, or they have some materials that need to be required to the project, right? On the purchase order size, you can, uh, project managers can issue the purchase orders and the system automatically checking the budget that are there available budget here in this particular area. For example, designated project, designated tasks that in particular project or not. The system notify me that uh, or uh, the project is exceeding. So I can then, I can see there is the exclamation mark yellow here. And then I will, it guide me through this uh, screen here. And then I just point the uh, circle there and then read through it a little bit there because I know I have no budget here. Would that be, uh, would it be okay if I want to start it? So, so whether that I decide uh, reject or approve. So these are the information that, that uh, would be a, with my decision from, from now on. So then uh, I don't need to be manually go back to the project and then check whether is the budget is already existing or not because the system telling me already if uh, this one doesn't have any budget at all, zero. So uh, my project gonna be minus of 63,222 uh, here. All right, so let's move to the next area a little bit. Move back to the project, right? So we have the spending size ready. Uh, we send the engineer there. The engineer is clock the time into the project. Engineer is uh, doing uh, the jobs and then reimbursement back into the project. That's also doable. And the next thing is uh, you would want to wonder how we can do uh, the billing size, right? 
So in our company, we support uh, uh, progress billing and the time and material billings. Right? The progress billing is relatively uh, straightforward. You update the percent complete on, on the portion of the tax. For example, this one, uh, I, I change from 60% to 90%. And then the system calculate what are the amount that need to be billed, right? Once on that, I can generate the billing here. Uh, you can add the overcharge or margin there here, also on the calculation size. But straightforward is just run the billing here, and then you got the invoice, uh, aka um, the system also allowing you to create the draft invoice before become a real invoice. All right. Then here is how it look like the invoice. And you can print it out in the form and the format that's suitable to, to your work. So we have out of the box also the AIA like report where uh, the system uh, lay all the number and figure in, in a really good format here. All right, so let's move to the next area. The next area that we would like to show is related to what about the uh, report, right? We have uh, more than 40 plus out of the box construction related report, but one of the report I would like to pick it up is a uh, work in progress report. Here are the screen that I can see is all my active project. I also have ability to see what are the contract amount, what are the estimated costs, basically pretty much all the information that I wanted to because uh, out of the box you can uh, you can modify, you can adjust this report. I just move uh, direct to some of the project, right? And then I can see immediately inside the project have the detail on top of it, right? So that's how it's basically drill dialable. Uh, you can move to from here to direct to the project if you see something is, is wrong or if you see something needs to be checked furthermore. So that's how uh, connect the system that's provided to you, like Akumarika. So let's move to a quick area on the smart sheet integ integration. Also, the smart sheet integration will help the project managers get the visualization of the of the timeline, of the project timeline, who responsible what, and what are the present complete, and create a really nice uh, look and feel when it comes to the project management, so-called uh, guide chart that we, we can do here. Next to that is also you can extend it to become uh, the before the project even start, right? So you can create the project template here in uh, inside Smartsheet itself, and then upload it back to our community. Then you have the project be ready to be execution based on the start date, plan date, something like this. So this is also a uh, two-way communication that you can define, that you can help, uh, you can flexible manage your times and, and people and the project timelines, uh, more efficiency. As Akumarika is the construction product, uh, construction edition here, right? We actually uh, built the construction edition on top of the other module. What does it mean is when you, got, when you purchase, when you got Akumarika, you got the other modules also out of the box. For example, you got inventory, you got customer relation management, you got the project management. It all came out from the, off the box. And then you just, shoot and decide which one you're gonna enable it, which one gonna disable it. It doesn't require to redo, redo implementation and, and all that. So it just turn on and off switch, just only that. Uh, these are the, it's not limited to the list here that what you see, these are also available function, functionals and functionalities in Archimedica Construction Edition, right? So uh, if you would like to know more about all of this area or specify area, uh, please reach out to your partner or reach out to us. I, I, will, uh, I will show up the email later on that 
oh, in this area that we would like to study more or this area, we, we really love to have the call or discussion with you and how we can help you and uh, what the product is suitable for you and whatnot. So reach out to us and then you can get you further more in the detail from that. All right, so uh, these are, the, and also uh, my webinar just uh, come, to the, uh, come to almost the end. Here are the upcoming uh, webinars, Archimedica Construction Edition. So we're gonna have a short discussion uh, webinars also on the project buildings and allocation, how you are doing it, and also following by the project management and also procurement and budget things and all that. So construction and reporting and, and, and everything. Uh, before we wrap up this call, so I would like to show uh, the project construction a little bit on my mobile. All right, let me share my screen now uh, from the mobile. All right. Central. Let me exit to Archimedica now. I can log in on by my uh, mobile authentication, whether it's gonna be the face recognition, gonna be uh, the, uh, the fingerprints and all that. So these are the available module that in the system. So I'm not going through that one by one here, but I just want to uh, showing you one of the area, right? For example, you have, if you are the, uh, the supervisors, on the site that taking care for dairy report on the construction area here, right? So you would want to create this one every day to tracking the progression of the project and then update back to my project manager, right? So you carry with your phone, go there and then input information. So basically what you can do is you can input the, the labor or, or the people that who are working there so you can see immediately how many hours of your people is working here because based on the record, what are the changes up there? Are there any uh, photos had been taken on that day? What are the issues related to this photo? So I can just move right away to that particular area and then it can review uh, whether is this gonna be, oh, these are two things that, that happening on that day and whatnot. Before I wrap up this mobile solution, it's just 10% uh, that I can show here now, or even less than that, but uh, would love to show more about that, but uh, just reach out to us later that you would like to see some other area also. We also have the dashboard built in also. What you can see on the system is can be project in, uh, into your uh, mobile also here. On this one, I can see my the uh, so-called the project overview dashboard. So as I mentioned earlier, it's customizable. What does it mean? It's not. It's non-coding. So it's personalizable. Uh, make information as you are, as you would want to see it. Right. All right. I will hand over to Thorsten, and uh, we will get into if there are any questions. If you would like to answer. Yeah. Thank you very much, Natanai. <clears throat> Um, very so good, thank you. <clears throat> so if you have any questions, um, please um, go press the Q&A button on your screen and please feel free um, to ask any questions that you might have. Um, um, so far there are no questions. So um, we are recording this session <clears throat> and we'll post the recording um, later today on our Akumatika Asia Facebook page and on in our Akumatika Asia LinkedIn user group. Um, so you, you can um, follow up on things that you might have missed or, would, or that you want to maybe share with your colleagues or friends. Um, you will be able to do this there. Um, uh, Austin. Yes. I think we have, uh, uh, but not from the Q&A, unfortunately, it's in the chat. Actually. Yeah, I saw it and I will take it offline. Okay. 
yeah, that's okay. Um, so I will reach out later directly. Um, okay, so th thank you very much then, um, everybody, for joining us today. I, I hope it was a little bit um, interesting for you. We will do follow-up sessions where we go into more detailed or very specific um, modules that we are having. So today it was um, um, more a high-level overview to show you um, what we have and what's included in the solution. Um, you see um, not a nice email address on your screen now. You see my email address on the screen. So feel free to reach out to us whenever you, you need um, anything. With this, um, have a good rest of the day and thank you very much for joining us today. And thank you, Nat Natanaya and Abatsanan, for providing this. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day. Goodbye. Bye -bye.